You know, it looked like Tim David and Hardik Pandya were just shepherding uh, the Mumbai uh, innings along to, uh, you know, big close, but it required the actual shepherd to come in and shepherd them to this massive, absolutely massive 234 for the loss of five wickets. In case uh, you are wondering how that has happened, because you were watching about 20 minutes ago, <laughs> and it looked like they may not get to 200, maybe 205. It has happened because the last over by Andrik Nokia has been taken for 32 runs by Romario Shepard. Four sixes and two fours to finish off what has just been an absolutely dismal last four or five overs for Delhi and brilliant for Mumbai, who were put into bat by Rishabh Pant on this hot, hot day in Wankade. And I'm sure that Rishabh Pant and the Delhi management and Delhi fans, much like us, Michael, are thinking, why? <laughs> well, Ricky Ponting, I reckon, oh, after about 16 hours, I think we're doing a decent yeah. job here. We're restricting them to something like 190, 200. Very chaseable. This is still chaseable because it's a decent pitch, but that is why you've got a batting lineup like that. When yeah. you've got all that power, I thought Tim David played a beauty. That's probably as well as I've seen him play for Mumbai. It was smart, and then he started to hit. Hardik played a, a captain's role. He was quite sensible and started to get going. Uh, Rohit gets him off to a flyer with uh, Ish and Kishan. But when you've got that kind of power down the back end, I mean, the West Indies. I mean, I'm looking at the T20 World Cup. I mean, who's going to want to bowl to that, that engine room of the West Indies? Dre Rules, Puran, Hetmeyer, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be hitting it into the Caribbean Sea, <laughs> never mind out the ground. <laughs> I think they'll be hitting it from Barbados to Florida, from Florida <laughs> to Antigua. That's what they're going to be doing. It is just absolute masterclass of hitting. And when you look at that, that batting lineup and you look at those scores, of course, exactly as Michael said, great start from Rohit, right? He gets uh, that 49, uh, he gets it at a strike rate of almost 200. Ishan gets some runs, so they get a good partnership. They get a 75-run power play. After that, uh, they lost a couple of wickets. I think losing Surya for a duck for them perhaps was... It kind of shook them. It slowed uh, the, the, the innings at that point in time. Uh, and Hardik played... Well, Hardik played slow, uh, but it required perhaps at that point in time. But look at Tim David and Romario Shepard down at the end. 45 of 21, 35 of 10 which means that they have got 84 of 31 balls, the two of them. Mm. Absolutely. And, and strike rate of 390. I mean, that's what Romario Shepard went for. But I want to tell you the biggest, biggest story about all this. In a fantastic decision, Romario Shepard was actually playing for Lucknow last year. Yeah. He was traded to MI for guess whom? Oh, I know this. Go on. Nobody. They gave him away for free. They allowed him a free transfer. Mumbai says, OK, here's 50 lakhs. I don't have to give any player. Fantastic. Great. I'll take Romario Shepard. Wow. <laughs> a freebie. I, a freebie. Yeah. I'd heard. And he got a few freebies at the oh, end. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> plenty. But yeah, he's been waiting to play for a while because, hey, Romario wasn't built in a day. Oh, yeah. well, played. <laughs> well, played, well, played, well played. And when he gets a chance to play, hey, rampant Romario is pretty good yeah. as well. Mm. I think we run through all the puns on Romario <laughs> Shepard now. We've done the Shepard pun, we've done the Rome pun, yeah. we're done. Uh, but uh, that was just some brutal hitting. And when you see that innings progression, you'll understand why we're saying, uh, you know, the last four or five overs. You would have thought, if, you were a, if, you were a, if you're a Delhi fan, you would have thought after that... You know, they've got, when they've gone after the power play, they've got just 66 runs in those nine overs, right? They've barely scored at about seven and over over there. That's where Michael Delhi's thinking, geez, all right, we can stop them. Yeah, they've done a good job. And I, I just go back to last night and Virat's innings that we were discussing. You know, Virat needed a Shepherd or a David with him. Yep. Now, that's what these players do, you know. Clearly, people that open the bat and they face 40, 50 balls, they can set up a foundation of an innings. But the value is in players like Shepard, who can hit like that in 10, over, in 10 balls. He's got 39 in 10 balls. Yeah. David, 45 in 21. That's why they go for all the dosh. 
Yeah. Now, because they're the really hardest innings to play that you go from the dugout straight to the middle and bash, you're smashing it to all parts. And you can really take your team from a parish score to, let's be honest, 230-odd is, is well above par. And They've got look, almost 100 in the last five. Yeah, and, that, and, and, and that's what these players can do when they when they when they on a good pitch. The boundary's small, and let's be honest, it, at the back end there, it, it kind of rem- Delhi are a team that's not got a great deal of confidence, particularly with the ball in hand. They kind of got away with it in the middle, and then all of a sudden, once one went, went into the stands, I mean, I can imagine how intimidated it is bowling to the likes of David Shepherd, Hardik, but you could see there Nokia at the end. He, he just started to falter a little bit. He didn't quite know where where to bowl the ball, understandably because. He only had to miss his length by an inch hmm. and he missed it by an inch on a regular basis and it went into the stands. Yeah, and he was anyway low on confidence because the 18th over that Nokia bowled, that over took about, I think, 15 minutes to finish. Yeah, yeah. and he bowled that uh, no ball. And there was then, no you know, ball, there was wides, there yeah, was just yeah. extras galore, there was a wide on the free yeah, hit, yeah, it was just, just all just, over the shop. Yeah, yeah, he just seemed to somewhere, he bowled a couple of decent first overs. Remember, his first over was the, where they got the pressure back. Yeah. And then, I don't know what happened to him. And that last over, you think they're going at, in the last four overs, still 16, 17, 18, 19, they're going at 16 and over. Hmm. And you're saying, wow, that's a good rate to go at. In their last over, they went for 32 and over. Yeah. I mean, that's how much it changed. And therefore, this this is a game-defining knock, the way they've done it. The other thing is, remember, the end of this innings, Nabi is still sitting in the hut. Yeah. So if you look at this batting lineup yeah. and the bowling lineup, this is what Mumbai is meant to play. This yeah. is the Mumbai team. Yeah. You can always look at dynamics and when you've got Ricky Ponting sat in the dugout and he's almost shouting out to Rishab about field settings and he's almost manoeuvring his arms to get fielders moving in or taking one back into the boundary. You know there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a dynamic that's not quite right there. Something's up. Yeah, something's up. <laughs> something's up. Something's not quite right. Yeah, and I'll tell you what else was up. The ball up in the stands <laughs> very often. And the Delhi bowlers, well, they just kept looking. Uh, there was a few, perhaps, bright moments for them. I think that the part uh, after the power play up till the death. So, you know, you have an Akshar Patel who's uh, bowled his four overs for 35. Four overs for 35 right now is looking like gold. Khalil's four for 39 as well. Uh, Jai Richardson, I, I'm, I'd be surp- I'm surprised that he's not in a bucket of sweat right now. He looked like he was going to yeah, pass he out. He looked totally gassed out. In this heat, right? Uh, but yeah, there you go. Andrik Nokia, four overs for 65 is what he's gone for. Ishan's three have gone for 40 as well. Uh, Lalit Yadav bowled that one over in the power play inexplicably. That sixth over that he bowled in the power play, he uh, went for 15. So yeah, this Delhi bowling lineup basically in two games have given away 500 plus runs. Mm. Yeah, they're traveling. Yeah, the game against uh, Calcutta and this game. 272 and. Well, you've got to give them a bit of respect because obviously there's 40,000 kids in the stand and someone said some look. The ball keeps going into stand. We don't want one of the kids to get hit. So they said, oh, don't worry. The, the, the Mumbai will we'll hit it out the ground. Yeah. <laughs> we'll hit it over the stand so the kids don't get hit. So you've got to think of them. They were putting it on a plate to make sure that the kids didn't get hit. <laughs> you know what I say on the Hindi show when somebody says this, no? Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, so there you go. That's, uh, of course, Mumbai for Delhi. Let's look at their batting lineup. Of course, Delhi is missing Mitchell Marsh. Mitchell Marsh is injured, so he's not going to be playing. That's a big cog in that wheel that's going to be missing. They haven't got a batter in his place in terms of they haven't got a foreign batter in. We did think they may get uh, Jake Frazier McGurk, uh, but they didn't. They went for the bowler. They went for Jai Richardson instead. Uh, they have given a cap to Kumar Kushagra, uh, the under-19 wicketkeeper batter, so you know that he's going to come in. This batting lineup is going to be interesting because Prithvi Shaw and David Warner are probably going to open with Abhishek Porel at three, the captain Rishabh Pant at four. So they have three left-handers in uh, the top four. That's interesting in itself. Uh, Tristan Stubbs, perhaps get Kumar Kushagra to come in there. So again, their batting lineup is also going to be... Uh, it's an unusual batting lineup because there are a few people batting yeah, out of position. Yeah, absolutely. Injury, out of position, not in form. Somebody's just making their debut. Somebody like Kumar Kushagra. It's an unsettled batting lineup. Mm. I mean, other than the fact that David Warner is going to open, even Prithvi did not start. Prithvi just come in for the last couple of games. So, this is a side that's still looking unsettled on the field, still not sure what its first 11 is. And of course, having three key players injured is not helping. Mm. Yeah. But there's a lot of pressure on them. And I think the one advantage that they have, and I mean, to call it an advantage would be stupid, is to say that given the total they have, there's no time to think. 
I mean, you just have to go and whack it. You just give it the best mm. you can because there's two moment you cross that two twenty, two thirty, then there's no question about let me craft this innings and see how much I can get. And yeah, you know that is over. I uh, the interesting one is Stubbs. I mean, with the quality of the way Stubbs is playing, I mean, I think their best chance is to bat Stubbs higher. Perhaps if they get a bit of a stop, bat it Stubbs at three and maybe Rishabh Pant at four. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, to expect Abhishek Porel to go at, say, 200, 220 strike rate for an extended period of time, given the fact that he doesn't have that international penalty, yeah. he may not be easy. I mean, the fact is that, obviously, on this ground, 230 is a gettable total. But all these factors are what makes advantage firmly in Bombay's court. Yeah, and all those left-handers, you look at the president, Nabi, bit of offspin, uh, he'll fancy... Uh, Having a bit of success there, like it doesn't get chased often, does it, in T20 yeah. cricket? Over 200, never mind over 230, particularly against the Mumbai side. I, I don't know whether it's just that they've batted first and the pitch is good, but they just look like they've got a little bit of the swagger back. Yeah. You know, I just saw the dugout. Yeah. <laughs> and when you see the dugout and you've got Suri Kumar, who, who didn't even trouble the scorers, and you've got Ishan Kishan, Rohit Sharma, Hardik at the end there, high-fiving him, and then Sachin pops up and he's high-fiving everybody, and you think, ooh. The Mumbai yeah. Indians might have just found a the little Indian, bit. Yeah. They might have just found Spins something back today. On track. It's 35,000 kids, man. It's the good energy that 35,000 kids bring. You can't lose you in know. front of the kids. <laughs> you can't lose in front of the kids. That's not going to happen. I really doubt if they're going to get to 233, especially if you look at the bowlers uh, that Mumbai have. They will get one more. They will perhaps get uh, Akash Madhwal in as an impact sub. But even if they don't, look at the bowling lineup that they have. Uh, they have just beat Bumra, Gerald Kodze, Piyush, uh, Chavla, Mohammad Nabir, Mario Shepard, Hardik Pandya. You'll get Akash Madhwal in. So, you've, this is that's some pretty solid bowling there. There is not... Uh, yeah, you know, Michael, you keep saying who's the X factor there, who's the dangerous bowler. At 232, everybody becomes a little more dangerous anyway, don't they? Yeah, but I think this is good for Hardik because he's got plenty to work with. And, you know, I think as a team, Mumbai have batted great. You know, the next two facets of the game are fielding and bowling. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's what he'll be saying to his side. Look, let's, let's try and have a game where we do all three facets really well, get our first victory, and uh, who knows how the Mumbai Indians are going to go from here. But it, it, it looks to me like they've just found something. They've, straight away, and we're not just saying it now they've got two, three, two. Before the game, when the team came out, we looked and went, ah. They look like they've got that strength, that depth, and, and that, that combinations of the bowling department. Looks like it's got plenty of options. Hmm. Also, this is, you know, this is the classical T20 innings we've been talking about. If you saw the first couple of matches when teams won, Rajasthan winning, nobody crosses 50. Yeah. 40s, 45s, hmm. but scored in record time. Everyone needs to contribute. That's the whole idea. You've now, with Impact Sub, you get eight to nine batters a team. Yeah. And therefore, you're, you can play Keep in going. a particular way. And also, the norms now, if you look at this year's IPL, I don't remember in previous years so many power plays going beyond 70. Mm. It's now becoming like the norm. It used to be if you can get beyond 55, 60, wow, that was a great start. I yeah. think it's gone now. I think it's now gone to can you get to 70 plus in the power play? Yeah, and uh, Delhi will have to go really hard in that power play. And that's what's really interesting, right? Because you have, <laughs> you have that 235 target in front of you. You have to get a 75-80 run power play. But Joy, you know, when you try to get at 75-80 run power play before playing a ball, you're probably just going to yeah. wrap it up at 45. Yeah, that, the dangers of losing wickets early. And they just, frankly, they don't have the depth. Mm. I mean, the moment you cross six, Aksar is batting at around 6-7. And the moment you cross that, yeah, you're looking you're looking at, I mean, and of those first 6-7, you're talking about Lalit Yadav, Kumar Kushagra, who are not really known quantities mm. at an international level. Yeah. Rishabh Pant is coming back. So it'll take a it'll take a lot of doing from Delhi under these circumstances. Bumra, Bumra to um to Pritby Shore be interesting. Sure. I'm pretty Off sure he'll bring he'll it swing. in. Yeah, I don't think he'll show him the outswinger. No, exactly. I think he'll be swinging that ball back into him. Because that's uh, the ball that troubles Prithvi Shore. So if uh, but that's if Bumra bowls in the power play. Mm. I think they'll give him the ball today. Do you think? I think they'll give him think the just ball today. Throw it today in. is the day to Mumbai has to be on the front foot today. They've got an opportunity. You've got 230 behind you. You should be on your front foot now. Yeah. Mm. You want to say, I, I want to finish them at 150. I want to win this by 100 runs. They can effectively, if they get two or three wickets, pretty much close the game out in the power play itself, if they can. Uh, uh, well, they need a, a strong net run rate as well. Yeah. You know, they need to win well. Mm. When you're bottom of the tree, winning's not just the principle. It's going to be, can we win really well? We, when you get a chance, yeah, you, you look to win, but can you win really well? And today's the day that they might be able to win really well. 
Yeah, and if they win really well, even they if they can win go by a small s- margin, they go beyond Delhi for sure. They could they, go beyond Bangalore. They could go beyond Bangalore as well. So, yeah, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I think this is definitely going to be fun. For us, of course, it looked like our predictions were, our guesses were in play. I was at 209. Joy was at 218. <laughs> that last over started at 202. It just flew above us. <laughs> then it just went to 234. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the six balls it took us to come from the green room to sit down here. We were like, what just happened? So now the power play game becomes even more interesting because when you're chasing 234, how do you play? What do you do? What's it going to be? It can be anything from 45 to 85. It really is wide <laughs> open. Yeah. Jeez. Come on, you go first. 64. 51. 57. 51, 57, and 64. Okay, it's 51 then. <laughs> Mumbai is winning pretty easy, isn't it? It's 51 run power play, and Mumbai is winning this game yeah. by at least 70 runs. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to come back at the end of the 10th over with Crick Bus Combox to have a look at how Delhi is doing with this chase. Can Mumbai get their first points today? Looks fairly likely. Uh, but then, of course, this is T20 cricket and anything can happen at any point. Uh, you are watching Crick Buzz Live from Michael Wan, Joy Bhattacharya and Gaurav Kapoor. It is bye for now. We'll be back soon. Hyderabad Express, Railway Station, Data Deep Mobile. Here by the Antio.